Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy King Lucky Tainteen back with another video. Um, what we got today? We got a little haul, and I'm super excited for it. I hope everybody uh, is gonna enjoy this one. We got Batman Volume Two by S Snyder and Capullo, The Question by Dennis O'Neill, and Injustice Volume Two, which is like the later years i'm pretty sure in the injustice universe but yeah let's just jump right on in i don't want to waste any time make sure you guys go smash that like button though before we begin but yeah let's get it going Alrighty, the first book we're going to be taking a look at is batman by scott snyder and greg capullo volume two i do have volume one i haven't done a review on it but i will be doing one soon um here is the front of the dust jacket here is the spine, and let's grab volume one so we can show you guys how volume one and volume two look next to each other. So that is how it's gonna look. A little bit of a different color on the spine. But yeah, that's how it's gonna look next to each other. But let's just jump right on in to the back of the book and show you guys what it collects. This book does retail $125 US. So, for all of us, if I would say the best place for me that I always like to buy my comics is organic price books, but you can also get these kind of books from in stock trades and cheapgraphicnovels.com. They have really good deals too. But yeah, let's get into what this collects. Um, as we can see right here, this collects Batman 34 through 52, Batman Annual 3 and 4, Batman Futures, and number one, DC Sneak Peek, Batman number one. Batman Last Night on Earth 1 through 3 and stories from Detective Comics 27 and Detective Comics 1000. Um, let's take off the dust jacket and see what is underneath. Alrighty, before checking out the hardcover, let's check out the inside of the dust flaps. Just a little thing about how great this series is and then a little biography about Scott Snyder and Greg Capullo. Okay. So going into this, here is the main uh, hardcover part. Then we have the spine, pretty cool Batman walking into a room. And then beautiful back hardcover part. Uh, it's not a spread paint. It's not a spread or anything. But that is how it looks like that. And yeah, well, let's jump in. Black in sheet paper. Then we got Batman by Scott Snyder. And Greg Capullo, Volume 2. Open in, it shows you everybody, all the writers. Uh, you have some artists in this. You have like some people like Sean Gordon Murphy. Jock is doing some of the art. Who, who else we got? Kelly Jones, Sam Keith, Dustin, Dustin, Dustin Wynn. You got a lot of people in here. Uh, Riley Ross, Rosmo. Then you got, for the writers, you got Scott Snyder. Gary Duggan, James Tiny, and Brian Azzariello, and Ray Fal Falkins, I think that's how you say it. Um, then we got what the collects in this book. There is a uh, page numbers in this book, so that is very nice. But yeah, as you can see, jumping in, we got some beautiful Sean Gordon Murphy artwork. Love his style a ton. Uh, then we switch over to Gray Capullo stuff. There's just a lot of, like, that isn't, this is Capullo. But there's just so much great stuff in this omnibus, man. And if you guys are Batman fans, I would for sure recommend this. I hear from everybody that I've talked to in the comic community. Everybody says that this is the run you guys need to collect in omnibus format. This is the Batman run you want to collect. Um, I haven't personally got to read it. I'm going to dive into Volume 1 pretty soon because I love Capullo and Snyder's. I've read some of their other stuff like Capullo. I love his artwork in Dark Knight's Metal. I read Dark Knight's Metal, the Omni. I'll be doing a review on that pretty soon. But you have these beautiful, this beautiful art. And Scott Snyder, he's just he's so good at writing. and I love the stuff he writes. and I'm for sure excited to dive into this, but... All I hear is great things, and all I hear is praise about this. I have read Batman Last Night on Earth, which 
is collected in this. Uh, I think there's a lot of like futures end type stuff in this one. Or like the, but yeah, I've read a ton of this book and it's just, it's so, I read a lot of Last Night on Earth and it's amazing, it's awesome. Then we got, looks like a ton, I'll say maybe half of this. Yeah, so all of this is all variants and artwork and all that fun stuff. Got some awesome spread pages, sketchbooks. Get to see what Capullo was doing. Some of his ideas he was coming up with. But yeah, ladies and gents, that was Batman by Scott Snyder and Greg Capullo, Volume 2. The next book we are going to be taking a look at is one book I've been waiting to get. I could I pulled the trigger because this was finally on sale. And the same with the other books. But this is The Question by Dennis O'Neill and Denny's Kwan, I think is how you say it. Volume 1, Volume 2 comes out later this month. Uh, here is the front of the dust jacket. Awesome cover. Here's the spine. I'm so excited to see that Volume 2 spine. Have them right next to each other. I think it's going to look amazing. Then we got the back. Got a cool little picture of the question. And let's, and what, this book retails $100. So it's a pretty thick book for, I would say, $100 cover price. Let's take a look at what this collects. Uh, where does it say? Okay, here we go. The question 1 through 27. The question annual number 1. Green Arrow annual 1. And Detective Comics annual. So not a ton but I mean a fair amount, but let's take off the dust jacket and take a look at the beautiful artwork underneath. Alrighty, before taking a look at the hardcover itself, we got this cool little like pinup maybe of the question. And then we have, oh, I'm dropping stuff. Got a cool little biography on Dennis O'Neill and Denny's, Denny's Cohen, I think. But yeah, that's the dust jacket for you. And then we got this awesome hardcover on the main part. It's, oh, it's badass. I love it. And then you have this kind of spine. I low-key like this spine a little bit more than the main, but I dig the main too. Then this is what we got on the back. Pretty awesome. But let's take a look at what's inside and what this bad boys. I think this should have page numbers. I don't know. And sheet paper black, just regular. Cool little frame one. Okay, so we got the contents of the book. So it tells you everything, all the titles of the books, like all, all the issues. And then we just jumped right on into the question number one. But yeah, you got that awesome, beautiful artwork from what, the late 90s, I would say, maybe Vertigo era. Um, I personally love it. I think it's from the 90s. Don't clown on me. If not, maybe it's from the early 80s or late 80s. But yeah, you got this awesome artwork. Uh, I'm a huge fan of the artwork, I guess, because it's more so like Vertigo stuff, and I dig that kind of art. But yeah, you got a lot of crazy stuff happening in here. And there's a lot of, this book just looks great. I've heard wonderful things. I'm super stoked for volume two. And I think once I get to reading this book, it's going to be a fantastic read. And I think I'll be super happy with how the book is. I haven't, I don't really hear many people talking about it, but the few people that I have heard talk about this book are like, yeah, this book is legit. But yeah, there is some mature content in this too. So if maybe you're looking to buy your son a book or daughter or, you know, anyone like niece, nephew. Um, I don't know if this would be the best one for the very beginning, but it's just, it's cool. Like, I mean, like, it depends on what you let your family and friends read, I guess, you know. Um, Let's take a look at how much bonus material. So let's flip through a little bit of the art. Okay, so what does this look like? So this looks like this is going to be all the bonus material. Start off with some articles, some newspaper stuff, it looks like. 
the answer. That's what it's called. Oh. So yeah, it's mostly just stuff about the question, I guess, the answer. It might be all their newsletters. You got this awesome variant cover right here. Uh, there was, this is the standard edition cover. Also, there was no DM or anything. You got that awesome cover. Let's see if I can get a better. Got that awesome cover. But yeah, that is the question by Dennis O'Neill and Denny's Cohen, I think it is. But yeah. All righty, ladies and gentlemen. We got Injustice Volume 2. So this is going to be collected later years of Injustice, I'm pretty sure. But here is the front of the dust jacket. Here's the spine. It matches up perfectly with Volume 1. And if you guys want to see those together, here they are. Batman and Superman fighting each other. I think it looks pretty badass. But we're not here for Injustice Volume 1, are we? We're here for Injustice Volume 2. So, let's check out the back. This book does retail $125 US. But, let's check out what it collects. This collects Injustice Gods Among Us Year 4, 1 through 12. Injustice Gods Among Us Year 4 Annual. Uh, year 5 for Injustice 1 through 20. Injustice Gods Among Us Annual for Year 5. And Injustice Ground Zero 1 through 12. With a introduction by Brian Bulisi. I can't have it's always been so hard for me to pronounce his name but it's the auto I think that's how you say it. and behind the scenes artwork but yeah let's take off the dust jacket and take a look at what's underneath alrighty before we take a look at this beautiful wraparound cover let's check out this uh the sides of the dust jacket got this awesome little quote this war has already cost too much it's over and it's superman and then on this bat on the side is batman and batman says it's not over uh, I'd say my Batman impression is pretty good. I mean, like, if I, I'll try it here. It'd be like, he goes, it's not it. Wait, oh, shit, that was bad. <laughs> he, he'd be like, I'm vengeance. And then he'd be like, it's not over. You know what I mean? Like, it's kind of ass, but it was more like Zoom. I'm not going to lie. Um, let's check out this wraparound cover. Look at that bad boy. That is awesome. You got Raven, Sinestro, Wonder Woman, Damian Wayne, Robin. You got Superman. You got Hal Jordan as a Yellow Lantern. What? Batman, Cyborg, and The Flash. The boy. But yeah, let's open this bad boy up and see what's inside. Beautiful. I love. This is probably it's such a little detail, but I think it's one of my favorite things that DC does or any. DC's the only ones that really does it. Marvel don't really care. But I love when they do art on board, like when they do like um, their in sheet papers. Just, oh, it's so cool. So like right here, Batwoman, Green Arrow, Batman, Harley, and Barbara Golden. And then in the back, we have Black Adam, Green Lantern, what, Superman, Bane, and Cyborg. I think that's just awesome. Um, let's take a look at table of contents uh this shows everything everybody that worked on the book it's got brian uh christopher sabella tom taylor bruno Rendon rendondo <laughs> i think that's how you say it. mike s miller tom derrick or denrick uh and then you got a whole bunch of other people oh uh, you got an introduction Talking about it all, year four. And we jump right on into year four. Got the virgin cover. Then it tells you exactly who wrote it, who worked on it. And then this is chapter one, the gods themselves. But yeah, so let's flip through this. I love how you get the, I, I know a lot of people don't like how you get the virgins, but when it says on the back what it is or like what issue it is, that's nice. But sometimes they don't do that and it's annoying because then you're like, uh, which issue am I reading? Looks like a lot of fun stuff. little, A lot of like Greek god stuff type Damascarian stuff too. So that's pretty cool. Um, you got beautiful artwork in here. You got the boy Kilowog. You got the boy Bane. Oh, and also, excuse me. Sorry if you guys heard that. I burped. <laughs> 
But yeah, you got a whole bunch of beautiful art. I personally love the Injustice Gods Among Us art. And hopefully they'll print Injustice uh, like 2, Injustice 2 in an omnibus format. Because you already have Injustice Gods Among Us Volumes 1 and 2. Why don't, why don't do an Injustice 2 um, Volume 1 and 2 or something like that? I think that'd be awesome. I'd be personally, I'd buy them because I am a sucker for that kind of stuff. But yeah, I hear great things about this too. I hear the later half. So then this omnibus, I hear the later half of it is not as good as the first half because Tom Taylor left the book. Um, but I know the very beginning, everybody praises about how great this run is. Um, what else we got? Uh, I do need to do an overview of volume one. So I'll probably do that pretty soon. But yeah, this everybody, if you love the video game uh, by NetherRealm Studios, I'm sure you're going to love this book. Uh, let's see what kind of bonus material. We got some Batman stuff, some sketch stuff. Page layouts and stuff like that. Pretty awesome. But yeah, ladies and gentlemen, that is... Injustice, Gods Among Us, Volume 2. But yeah, ladies and gentlemen, I really hope you guys did enjoy this video. Um, got to check out some awesome books. Let me know if you guys want to see more of this down in the comments below. I enjoy and I love personally making these videos. It's one of my favorite things to do. And I hope you guys have been enjoying them too. Make sure you guys go leave a like, comment, and subscribe down below. Let me know what you want to see next. But... um. That pretty much wraps everything up. I mean, I think all the books I'm super stoked for it filled in the Batman and Injustice both filled in spots I had in my collection. So I for sure needed those a lot in the questions, a book I've been wanting for a while now. So I'm happy I got it. But I hope everybody has a good day, night, evening, wherever you're at in the world, on whatever time you are watching this at. And you know, one last thing, just like always, everybody say it with me now. Peace and love.